and welcome to Nidhogg, or I don't know how it's pronounced, Nidhogg or Nidhogg, something like that. But it's a very pic very simplistic game, uh, basically a pixelated, uh, fi pixelated fighting game in which a guy, well, there's two guys with swords, you get stabbed with swords, there's different heights, and uh, that's it. You will get stabbed to death. Running into sword means you die. But there was quite a inter surprisingly intricate amount of maneuvers that can be done. L like throwing the sword, different heights, and being killed. And of course. And what? Oh yeah, and basically everything kills you with one hit. Yeah. But there's time to... And this is the single player mode, which can be said to be quite frustrating. Yeah. And in addition to sword attacks, the guy can also make, you, make use of... Hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat attacks, but they're quite pointless. And there's also some, sometimes there's low, low ceilings, meaning you have to use a sword. And sometimes it's not that much. So, so it's, a, it's a bit of. It ain't that. So the gameplay can is deceptive, deceptively simple. But once, and of course, winner of the round gets eaten by Nidhogg. As simplistic as the game is, game's game gameplay is, it does have a multiplayer mode that, that allows you to switch off all kinds of little maneuvers that the color character can do. But let's just show the basic tournament mode. Which can be uh, quite m quite many. Oh, so just just get going. Yeah, game wants to find the controller, but it doesn't find the other controller because well, I'm just showing this game mode. Oh, which has the perhaps the you could say only actual ending of the game. Uh, yep, uh, yep, running into sword kills you. Right, yep, running into sword kills you and the guy, other guy just stands there stupid because well They are that guy oh, that's good. But eventually Game decides that yeah, the guy suffered enough Let's just let him be there uh, And once again, I ran the controls are very fast as in to say that uh, it's very easy to over overcharge your movement as it is and of course the one who got the previously guy killed gets the advantage because if there's if you manage to just run by him the other guy it can be done as well and of course kill and just jump right past them and hold the sword high once the need hook comes to eat me. And in this kind of game mode there's actually a bit of a special ending. It actually does have a ending. Oh, I can't... Yeah, sword right through the head. Yeah, I'm avoiding you. Dive kick and kill him. And I do say that this kind of simplistically simplistic gameplay it might be in a sense deceptive. Uh, let's just let him lie in the ground and run away. The even by Nidhogg and see what kind of result is the tournament victory.
if there is anything about it. Yeah, being burnt at some sort of stake sacrifice. And that was what can be said about Needhog. Surprisingly decepti deep gameplay, but the game gets boring real fast if you can't play it in a, in a company. <laughs>